Hey folks, this is a uh, weekend shave. The uh, shaving cream of the day. It's going to be Williams Mug Soap. The razor <laughs> that I'm going to be using is a star razor. It uh, looks very much like a gem razor. A lot of this has to do with the fact that uh, Star, Ever Ready, and Jim all came one. Uh, eventually becoming the American uh, Safety Razor. This is where the blade's at. For me, this is a version I have for the blade bank. This particular razor, when I got it, it might be kind of difficult to see, but right here on each end, there are those uh, stop hooks. One of them was pushed down, and so the blade would not align like it should. So I very carefully pushed that hook back up, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this, but I did manage to get it up to the point where the blade fits in there like it should now. Yep. Looks pretty good now. At first I wasn't real sure whether I was going to be able to push that hook back up or not. Got kind of concerned about it. Finally worked up the nerve to try to push it out in hopes that I didn't mess it up. So far I've been good. I uh, have my uh, Williams Mug Soap. Oh, <clears throat> just in case. For anybody that's never seen William Mug's Soap, straight out of the box that's what it looks like and yeah this is a hard puck it's a really hard puck <laughs> I don't see anywhere on this uh, box saying that it's triple milled but it's pretty hard <clears throat> I have it in a shaving mug here what I'm calling a shaving mug today it's actually a coffee mug uh, matter of fact, this is uh, from Homer Laughlin China Company. The brand uh, name series on this is Fiesta. And this is what I got mixed, whipped up with my uh, Omega Boar hairbrush. It does take a little bit of effort to get it whipped up. Uh, the real clue is that you probably will want to use warmer water than what you're accustomed to using when you bloom a soap. So in other words, don't spare the warm water. I've already used a hot towel to the face. I have put the bloom water on my face, but that's been a moment ago. And I'm going to go ahead and re-wet my face. But uh, the Star Razor Ever Ready and Jim eventually became one and as time went on became the American Safety Razor Company and at one point ended up becoming persona the way I remember reading eventually was bought out by Philip Morris then sold to Energizer, then Energizer spun it off as a personal care division, I guess you might say, or something of the sort, and then was sold to an investment company, I think it's now referred to as Accutech Blades. I guess it's maybe, I'm, I'm thinking it's only been maybe a year and a half, I uh, got an email on that transition um, for me the um, I was trying to follow up on the history of these kind of razors pass number one here going with the grain I uh, to a degree I enjoy the history especially of the razors
these were made in Brooklyn. Uh, the gentleman that started uh, Star Razor Company uh, were two immigrants that came from Germany and applied for a patent in 1875. And they started the uh, Star Razor Company. To a degree, Persona is still around. I just don't think it's a. Uh, I've been able to follow up for sure exactly how the blades, in other words, in Israel, is it still part of the company or are they just using the name or I haven't quite got that under wraps just yet. In other words, you, when you try to follow this history, <laughs> it gets a little convoluted. At least I haven't found a spot just yet where it's uh, put out in such a way that uh, it's easy to digest just in a few moments. I did read where Persona uh, also bought... Uh, Burma Shave, and I think there was, uh, early on, there was a uh, soap company called Safety Soap, I think, I think that's what, the, what it was, I really don't remember that one at all, I do remember as a kid, um, when I was a kid growing up, we had a uh, over-the-air antenna, in other words, uh, didn't have cable until I was but I think in high school or something like that, somewhat older. So in other words, the availability of number of channels was uh, pretty small, usually just the three. And uh, I can remember watching football, seeing those advertisements for Persona, Wilkinson Sword, Gillette, Old Spice, and just, you know, of all those advertisements, Aqua Velva, High Karate, <laughs> it just, I guess you might say all those favorites from back then. In a way, it's kind of amazing how things have changed. Williams Mug Soap. Um, when I first tried to use this, got frustrated with it. It's not an easy one to learn how to lather up. It took me quite a while. And uh, eventually I did learn that one trick that you really need to, you really need to use the, the warm water or in some cases might be referred to as hot water. It does have... Um, it's got tallow in it, I think it's, um, let's see here, there's not much in the way of uh, uh, ingredients on this thing, yeah, tallow, matter of fact, there's the ingredients right there, pretty short list, this is going to be a cross screen for pass number two, I'm going from the ear to the nose. And I guess you might say in my small wor small world, Williams can be bought at a local grocery store for about a dollar twenty nine. Burma shave uh, brush, 
uh, matter of fact, the box still says, uh, you know, the company's persona, uh, I think for 419 maybe, 429 inexpensive brush. It says that the, uh, bristles are natural. Natural could be meaning a lot of different things. <laughs> um, I think it was Sharpologist. I can't remember for sure where I remember hearing this. That don't be surprised that it might be goat hair. That was one of my first br brushes. I still have a few of them. I use them from time to time. For me, especially with Williams, they, it does seem to lather up pretty good. So does the board here. The lather, as you can kind of tell, <laughs> I haven't used it in a while, so I. Uh, don't use it as much as I used to when I first started. It does take a moment to, I guess you might say, learn how to master the lather with Williams. But it can be done. At that price point, um, yeah, you're looking at, it's a 1.75 ounce puck. And if you're really looking at shaving on a budget, as you can tell, yeah, you can shave with this soap. No, it's not comparable to something that you pay $15 for. Or $10 as far as that goes. It's an inexpensive soap. And if somebody's on a tight budget, yeah, you can shave with this. It's just like you've seen, probably seen the videos where... Uh, Shaving with the uh, bar soap. I know some folks mention about the uh, scent. They don't particularly care for it. It doesn't bother me, but I don't pick. For me, I don't. I'm with my wife. I handed it to her, and she she said that uh, she thought she was smelling sweet grass. Some feel like it smells like a citronella candle. I don't smell that. I smell something closer to the sweet grass as opposed to the uh, citronella. That's just my nose. And I can tell you right now, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, we talk about my nose doesn't work most of the time. So what it smells may be quite a bit different than what another person might smell. Because I know my wife, she's got a better nose than I do. And what she smells sometimes is definitely not what I'm smelling. <laughs> this will be pass number three against the green. Blades American Safety Razor. Got these blades at CVS. They're get ten in a pack. If I remember right, I think I got these on sale, so I was paying three ninety nine for them. If I remember right. I think the regular price is four ninety nine. Considering you get multiple shaves out of this blade, that's, I don't think the price is too terribly bad. I don't know if you can hear that feedback, but uh, yeah, it's definitely there. You can kind of see I really don't have any issues with the, this razor with the, it clogging up. Depending on how thick your lather is. <laughs> as thin as mine is right now. Probably go most of the shave without even rinsing it out.
even though this uh, lather is thinning on me, the thick, the slickness is still there. Um, it's, it's a little bit different soap, that's for sure. I know most of the time some would look at this and think because the lather is not there, the slickness is not there. The slickness is there. Sometimes it may be kind of difficult to separate between the slickness and cushion. I'm going to go ahead and rinse the face and uh, see what the Adam Block has to say about the shave. Can't remember. I think the three uh, razor companies, Star, Jim, they're ready. I think they combined all three in 1919 I think I think all three razors were made in uh, Brooklyn it would be kind of interesting to see if the one of those uh, factories is still standing I have my doubts a lot has changed since then Alright, going to check out the Allen Block. Complete with rubber band. Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is the one that made this Allen Block. Or sold it to me, I guess I should say. My usual sp spots where I might get some stinging sometimes, most of the time, over here. Not the only places I'm getting getting it. I've been running a test against you might say a theory. I just dry off the Allen block and put it back in the container and so far hadn't had any adverse effects about drying it off that way, putting it back in the container. The uh, off camera, I'll use this uh, Grimo Cream company out of California. This is Beard Balm. has like a spearmint scent to it. This particular build Beard Balm doesn't, uh, because it's got bee with beeswax, but this one doesn't turn my beard yellow since it's so white. Here's my witch hazel today. Nixon. <clears throat> this one here uh, is a toner. Uh, witch hazel moisturizing properties to it. Ever since I started using both of them, skin is look, looking a lot better than what it used to. You see the pores there tightening up. Back in my younger days when I had acne and whatnot, especially right up in here, the pores were pretty, pretty large. And they've tightened up and don't look quite so big anymore. The uh, aftershave I plan on using is been decanted. It is a container like this right here. Yes, the aftershave is blue as well as the container. Top of it is glass. And what's in here is Lustre Blue Spice. Put it in a container like this. Found this container at a uh, antique store. Thought it'd be perfect to put the lustre in. And yes, that has a huge opening, so it can get messy getting anything out of it. If you have not tried lustre, it is similar. It is similar to Aqua Bella Ice Blue.
there is a difference. I can tell you exactly what the difference is. I can just smell the difference. <laughs> That's about all I can tell you. We got Lustre. Um, you can get it at the uh, Barber Barber's Depot online at a reasonable price, in my opinion. All right, let's go back over what I showed uh, shaved with today. That is a star razor. That was the first use on the uh, uh, American Safety Razor Blade. Shaved with uh, Williams Mug Soap. Whipped it up with uh, Omega Boar Hair Brush. Got it in a coffee mug. I think it's a witch hazel. Phoenix Arches and Accoutrements uh, Allen Block, complete with rubber band. Yes, I do recommend using the rubber band. Just saw my aftershave decanted. Lustre Blue Spice. And yes, off camera I'll be using the Cremo Beard Bomb. Everybody stay safe, smooth shaves. See you about Wednesday.